Gallium is the 31st element on the periodic table. And sadly, this is the second element that I'm not going to show you the pure element. Um, fluorine and gallium are so far the only two. And the reason I am not showing you the uh, pure gallium is because it's pretty expensive. And um, beryllium was expensive. Many other elements that I've showed you are kind of expensive. I'm just, I just can't um, buy all the really expensive elements. So I'm just making a decision not to get pure gallium. And instead of pure gallium, I'm going to show you something pretty cool, which is called gallinstan. And gallinstan is an alloy of gallium, indium, and tin. And what's cool about gallinstan is that it is actually a metal alloy that is liquid at room temperature. It stays liquid down to negative two degrees Fahrenheit, so um, well below freezing of water. And um, gal the name gallinstan is just comes from the first bit of each of its component elements. Gal from gallium, in from indium, and stan, um, so in Latin, tin is stanum, so stan is for tin. Gallon stan. And so here is some. Um, the place I got this is um, actually from a gallon stan thermometer. Now if you see a thermometer that looks like it's a mercury thermometer, has the metal inside, uh, but it's marketed now in the U.S., then it's probably a gallon stand thermometer because mercury thermometers have been outlawed. So here is the gallon stand. And I did it a while back so you can see here's a pile of oxide. I didn't uh, put it in an inert environment so it oxidized a lot. But here is the unoxidized bit. It's pretty shiny and it still has a bunch of oxide in it so it's not actually a liquid but it's still soft enough I can break it up, broke it into three pieces. It should be said that gallium alone doesn't even have that high a melting point. Its melting point is 85, is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So in warmer parts of the world, it is actually molten at room temperature. If you see a periodic table that doesn't list gallium as molten at room temperature, you know that it's probably made in colder climates or in a place that has good air conditioning. If you hold gallium in your hand, pure gallium, it will melt in your hand because just of the because of the heat from your hand. It's not advised to do this because although it's not known to be toxic, it does leave a brownish stain on skin. So if you do do this, you should wear gloves. Gallium, like a lot of the elements found near the diagonal line on the periodic table that signifies semiconductors, is used in computers. And processors with gallium compounds typically can compute a lot faster than normal processors. So that's one of gallium's main high-tech uses.